Good morning, everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. I like to talk in the morning as I'm walking to my medical clinic appointment. Uh, because, I don't know, frequently it gets the blood flowing and for some reason getting up and whatever. But today I'm like, blah. I spent a really rough night. I had dreams of suffocation. That I was suffocating and I couldn't breathe. And it was very unpleasant, and it was very real. And, um, you know, it's like prophetic dreams. And I really look like shit, don't I? <sighs> Patriot keeps saying, no, you don't look so bad. I don't look so bad. But, um, she doesn't look so good either. You know, a little makeup, a little dye in your hair. Okay. But, uh... The rapid aging. That's the thing. Rapid aging. And I don't think it's just due to stress. You know, this is, uh... I've watched hundreds of people go through this. Although I haven't seen them die yet, they're all pretty much are in the same place as I am. There are people way worse off. This thing is just eating alive. Well, our government pretends it isn't real. Folks, it's time to give up on the government. It's time to give up on the powers that be. It's time to give up on the lies. It's time to give up on the system that has perpetuated this crime against humanity in secret. Here in New York, we got a lot of people picking stuff up that they can try to sell for a couple of bucks. Going through the garbage. Used to be a lucrative process, as I myself can uh, attest to. It used to be possible in New York in the 80s to pick up a bag of clothes somewhere, you know, and uh, somebody threw out and walk down to the village and lay it out and sell it and make 40, 50, 100 bucks in a couple hours. I've done it myself several times. Now, <laughs> you can't even lay clothes out on the ground in, in the village without getting arrested. Out in Brooklyn, they're a little more uh, lenient about who they let sell stuff without a license. But in Manhattan, it ain't happening. In fact, they recently just changed the laws to affect all the people who would sell art in the park. Um, there was a law that said you couldn't sell general merchandise without a license, but you could sell uh, descriptive matter. Um, in other words, magazines, books, and things you made yourself. Handmade jewelry, crafts. Um, and because there were too many, too many poor people, too many talented people, you know, doing their little free market survival routine every day, that, uh, you know, the masses of, I don't know what they are, these people, that, that they're enslaved, man. And either they know it and they don't care, or there's no way to get out of it. They care and there's no way to get out of it or, you know, I don't know. Some of them don't even seem to know, man. And because there wasn't enough room for them to get on the subway and run back and forth and, and be afraid of terrorists, they changed the law, literally, to make it almost impossible to sell stuff in, in the Union Square Park. If you look around on the street, you'll see there's no scrap metal anywhere. There's no chairs, there's no broken air conditioners, there's no bits of aluminum, there's no, you know, arbitration and, and stock market prices. 
have raised the price of all metals, precious metals, non-precious metals, so that it's actually worth it to walk around on the street and pick it up and put it in a thing and drag it over to the scrapper. And there's so many people doing that that they're making laws to make that illegal in certain places without a license, without special, you know, as I watch free market enterprise after free market enterprise fall to the, the hooks and claws of the big business, you know, I mean, there's people out there just like you and me who need to make a living and they're making it however they can. And then these people come along and like, yeah, I got connections. I know the politicians. Let's pass a law. Statutory citizens. And we must follow it. So you're no longer allowed to survive. You know, some of the stuff you see on YouTube, like the people that get arrested for trying to save their own lives. It's insane. Anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. God bless you all. Thanks for watching.